What's up guys, this is your boy Zach here and today I'm attempting a live commentary on COD Advanced Warfare um, This is like my second game after Prestigings Oh, I have absolutely no accessories on my ASM1 um, So yeah, I just wanted to quickly recap some LAN events that happened really recently and trying to have a good gameplay for you guys. Oh, that went to shit. How did I do that? How the fuck did they let me do that? I have no idea. I bet they didn't have an idea what they were doing. Um, so yeah, first of all, which one was first? It was ESWC. I actually was able to go there and I was so happy. Um, my idol gaming wise is Optic Scumper. I think he has a really great attitude, who really great role model for our community and really good representative. I argue even better than Nature uh, on the work ethic um, side of things. Um, so yeah, I actually was able to meet him. I made him like a custom T-shirt. If you watch the streams. Like always, always says facts only. Um, if you don't know what facts only really means, I don't really know how to explain it. But if like somebody says like, you, for example, um, you have the best shot in the game, and you want to say like, yeah, that's right, you say facts only. So I made him a a shirt with facts only and his logo on it, and I actually was able to give it to him and he really seemed happy about it um optic gaming placed first at that land they had a pickup in enable um enable um is a player for phase can competitive he is really good he's ginger and if you don't know he's destroying competition and he only has one thumb that's right you've heard it here he has one thumb um i actually was kind of confused about that I saw it once on Twitter and I didn't know if it was true or not, but yes, he does have a, a thumb that is missing. I do not know why. I don't really know. I don't really think people know why on Twitter and stuff. So, yeah, I wasn't able to, uh, able, sorry, able uh, to meet him. I actually, like, didn't meet tons of players, but I met three people at that land and... There are three people that are in my favourites. So, Optic Scumpy, who is my absolutely favourite in the whole community. Then I met Clayster, the, um, the I met uh, Clayster, who is the world champ now and was formerly on Opt. He, he's a really nice dude, really humble. Say to be honest, these three guys are all really, really humble. Um. They're not gonna ego you if you go up to them. I was like kind of stressed out meeting them because I'm just a stressed person in general. I like I'm like always shaky. I'm that dude in class that if he has to do a presentation, I'm gonna be shaking the fuck out of myself. But the guys are really nice and friendly and inviting you. Like you're not not like two seconds. You're not like saying hi and then like oh fuck this is awkward. I should leave. No, you actually feel welcome to talk to them and I think they actually like meeting the fans and it's always a great feeling to have when you meet um, people you watch on live streams and YouTube every day. They, so that was really, really cool and I thank them for that. So I met Clayster, got a selfie with him as well, got one with Skunk as well. And finally I met Optic Hex, Big, um, what's his phrase again? What's up guys, it's Big big Optic Hex here. Um, so, oh yeah, I met him and he was in the stands with OZ Enrique, who is, um, well that's his Twitter handle, well, his Twitter handle's at OZ, OZ Enrique 7. He's like a photographer, he works for Astro, I think he's like multimedia director or something like that, I don't know what is his exact title is. Well, he works for Astro and he's basically a photographer but he has um, travelled to um, multiple LAN events with Optic Gaming to shoot photos for them. 
and with the players and Hex and all the members of the org. Met him, really nice dude as well. You should follow him if you want some good shots of um, Optic at lands. Kind of struggling in my game here. I went on a 10 tree and now um, game's kind of dull. They've got like a match. Wall Street, I don't even know what this is called. But I'm Prestige 14 now. Um, really want to get to that master prestige thing to not have to unlock my accessories and perks because the perks are like. No, not the perks. The accessories are hands down the most annoying things to unlock every time you prestige. It's such a pain in the ass. Um, so yeah, going back to ESWC. Um, up to place first, second was denial. There was a it, that was the final really tense. I wasn't there on the Sunday. I was only there on the Saturday. Um, yeah, but I only met those three people, but I really admired them, so I was really happy about that. But, to be honest, I could have met more, like, Optical's doing, like, a full meet and greet thing, where you could, have, like, have a little card thingy singed, uh, not singed, signed. I got really fucked up there, my pronunciation. Um, signed by the four players. But I didn't go to that because I've never been to a LAN event, so I really wanted to watch all the games I could. Especially I was only going one day. So that was enough of ESWC. Go to my Twitter at I am no not I am at I am Sax for to see those selfies. To one with place to one with Scump and normal picture with Hex. So for the quality, um, the. The, 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 whoa, the venue was really dark and it's took with an iPhone, so quality basically goes to shit. My nose is really, really itchy right now, I don't know why. I don't know what's happening with it. It's freaking me out. Um, now let's go to Gfinity. Gfinity F Spring Masters 1, I think the event was officially called. I'm really good land Foxic again playing with Enable. Uh, they managed to win it again. This time in the finals they were against Prof, who is now Aqua, Aix, Nagafen and Apathy. I'm um, really turned to the squad hate hate at Aix to be honest, just with you. Um and by winning the event, um Crim6 was able to equalise um Ace's record of 19 land event wins, so that's a really good points to own for him. Um, I hope he surpasses Ace um, in uh, UMG Cali or UMG on Stereo, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, so next weekend already that that's been like a land every weekend, which is great. I love watching lands, so I'm really happy when there's one every weekend that would be my dream if there was like two a month would be really really good in my opinion uh, i'd love to watch two a month like regularly um but yeah so this week coming up it's umg cali or ontario and it's i believe it's optics first land with karma if i'm not wrong yeah, I think so. I don't think he's competed yet with them on land. Might be s looking so dumb here. I mean, he has played one land before they went to Europe, but I mm, don't think so, honestly. Um, holy shit. Um, so, yeah, that was... If you ever hesitate to go to a LAN or your parents don't want to, like, try explaining it to them better because, like, people are passionate. It's not like a bunch of 40 year old guys just walking around with little kids in a venue. It's like people of all ages who are actually passionate about the thing, like, like a sports game. Like, if you go to a football match, an American football match, uh, boxing match maybe basketball match it's like the same vibe to be honest with you and it really is a great experience you can meet the players you watch every day so i hope you go but this concludes the live comp 
I was able to drop 32 kills, if I'm right. 32 kills, like 2kd. No, 33 kills, 19 deaths. Honestly, not my best gameplay, but um, I think the commentaries was really good, and I'm not gonna like cheat and say this was a live com if it's not. So that's gonna be it for me today. Um, this was your boy Zach. I'll see you next time. Subscribe for more videos. Like this one if you did enjoy it. Comment with feedback so I can make them better. This was your boy Zach, and I'll see you next time. Peace.